this is the last topic uh, in this chapter called monopoly and here we are going to talk about uh, responses from policy maker. So, what we have seen that there is clearly welfare loss in the case of monopoly. The society is not operating at efficient level when we have monopoly. Another problem that also we should think about that people are worried the voters or the vote because policy makers they respond to voters demand, voters are worried about uh, profit making potential of monopoly. Third thing that we also that the problematic is that in the case of monopoly we see reduced innovation. Why do we say that reduced innovation? Why do we get reduced innovation? The reason is very simple. The monopoly uh, is not competing against any other firm. So, they have less incentive to innovate and cut the prices. So, our policy makers have responded in several different ways and some of these import one of some of these ways we would learn in this particular segment. So, one is state ownership and management. So, state takes over uh, the monopoly and of course, this is more relevant in case of natural monopoly. We will talk in context of natural monopoly that a state takes over the monopoly and sells its product typically at average at a price which is equal to the average cost. Uh, what is the problem in the state ownership and in India we have seen state ownership of different business venture and we all are familiar with uh, the inefficient handling of these ventures. Bureaucrats uh, running these uh, monopoly they become more concerned with their department budget than achieving the efficiency. So, that is quite problematic. Second is uh, regulation. We have seen different kind of regulation again here also the state can simply tell the monopoly to price their product at average cost. So, we can say average cost pricing. Also state can simply say simply impose some sort of price ceiling telling monopolies that you cannot uh, have a price higher than this particular level. Third, which is most uh, popular is called rate of return policy. What happens that the monopolists are allowed to earn whatever is the interest rate prevailing in the market plus a markup. This is called rate of return policy and of course, the monopoly has to get it approved from the government to have that particular price. The problem with this is that typically we see over investment in capital the reason is very simple because the monopoly is return depends on the amount of capital because they are going to earn the normal interest rate which is prevailing in the market and plus a markup let us say m. So, if they over invest they will have higher markup. So, this gives them incentive to do over investment. Other problem that we see when the market is segmented and the firms are operating in different uh, market and let us say one of the market is uh, uh, purely competitive market what these firms would like to do is to sell their product even at the lower price. Okay, so, that they can justify having more capital because the more capital means having more return. So, cross subsidy is another problem that we see in such sort of market. Okay. The third is antitrust laws. 
antitrust laws, uh, almost all countries have some sort of antitrust laws. The, the aim is to promote more competition in the market. And in India, uh, what we have is called CCI, Competition Commission of India. They are tasked with maintaining the healthy competition in the market. So, they regularly look at these uh, firms involved in monopoly practices or the firms colluding together and working as a monopoly uh, and they uh, time to time they direct them into behave in a particular manner which will bring more competition in the market. So, these are the few ways through which a state responds to or the policy maker responds to the, the, the problem of or the, 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 the situation of monopoly. Thank you.